So Jack, we're at the uh, Championship media launch here at Keithley. How much are you looking forward to the to the start of the new season now? Yeah, I was saying there. Obviously, it was all those lads, all the players speaking, and you know, middle of January comes round, and you've had a friendly, or you've got your friendly coming up, and you know, the season's around the corner. Um, obviously, York next week. Um, all all lads are buzzing for it. Obviously, I'm buzzing for it after a bit of a disappointing, bit of a disappointing year last year for myself. So I, I'm buzzing to get going now. Um, obviously, Saints tomorrow. Um, obviously, Percy's testimony. So hopefully, everyone gets out and, and supports him. And then yeah, uh, York next Sunday. We can't wait for it. You mentioned last season there. You obviously, you struggled with injuries, but you sort of had to rush yourself back because of the situation the team was in. Do you feel a lot better now and a lot better in yourself? Yeah, well, last year I was obviously getting myself back and probably medically fit, but not not rugby fit, if I'm being totally honest. Um, but look, like that's in the past now. I'm feeling good and we're looking good as a squad. Um, you know, obviously, you'll know the the, play, the caliber of players we signed. You know, Tom Gilmore in form half back for the past two years at, at this level. Jordan Johnston, uh, Kyle Amo, keeping likes of Cal Field. Um, Max Robertson Lewis Sarton have made a really impression from Swinton, so the squad's in a very good place and you know I hope the fans see that and, and they get behind us starting from next week. You know, a few people have, have, I've spoke to have commented on, on yourself and on your shape and you're looking fitter than you probably ever have. Is, is, is that how you feel at the moment going in after them pre-season games? Oh, oh yeah, but you know what I mean, pre-season everyone works hard and I, I did work hard and made sure in the off-season I got myself ready for pre-season because uh, I had to do it. Um, you know, so hopefully John John's happy with me. Um, and at the end of the day, I, I'm playing for my position. You, everyone's seen Matt Fleming when he filled in last year, uh, Lord Rowe when he played. So at the end of the day, I, I've got to, personally, I've got to play well and uh, I've got a bit of a point to prove this year. And I do think we've got the team um, who can help me do that. And hopefully if John selects me as uh, full-back for that, for that game round one, um, you know, I, I'll make it my own again. And um, yeah, I've got a bit of a point to prove this year. Yeah, John's mentioned that certainly the squad's got a lot more depth. He's got a lot more options. And whereas perhaps in the past couple of seasons, maybe if you've been in the team, there's not been much pressure from outside. Whereas across the whole squad now, that's not the case. You've always got someone behind you wanting your spot. Yeah, that, that's bang on. And, you know, competition's healthy in rugby league. Uh, as long as John, John manages it right and, and the players are honest with each other um, and everyone in the whole, which we have got, you know, we have got an honest group. And um, like you said, competition's healthy. And, um, you know, like look at the half, you've got Craven, Gilly, Joe Lyons, full back, you've got me, Flem, Joe Lyons, probably got three or four centres, four wingers, middles, you can, you know, whoever misses out out the middles, it's going to be a tough conversation with John. Um, so I won't want to be an issue who's coming, coming next Friday, selecting the team. Um, I'm sure he's probably said it, it's the position he'd rather be in himself. Um, and yeah, I, I think now, rather than having probably a very good one to 17, we've probably got you know a very good squad this year. Um, you know, Fev, Fev have got a really good squad this year. Halifax are looking good, so the competition's getting stronger, so we, we've got to make sure we don't fall behind. John's talked as well about having players who can maybe do multiple roles in the team, and obviously we've seen you at standoff a little bit in the, in the pre-season, because obviously Craven's yeah. injured at the moment, but... And is that something that, that's in the back of your mind as well? That it might not always be at fullback that you're playing. Yeah, look, I just I just want to play this year. Uh, whatever John wants me to play, I'll play. But you know, you look at Jordan Johnston. He could play nine. He could play thirteen. Like I mentioned already, Joey Lyons, half back, full back. I can slot into the half if need be. Um, but yeah, look, I just want to sort of get myself back fit, get back playing. Um, hopefully, nail down that full back position. You know, that, that that's where I play best. And um, like I said, a couple of times this interview, I've got a point to prove. But yeah. I think what we have got is versatility this year alongside the squad depth and, and we're looking good for 2023. There's a, there's a lot of goal kickers in the, in the squad th this year, so do you feel, is that an area maybe there'll be less pressure on you and you can focus more yeah. on your running game, whatever? Well, to be totally honest, I've always I've always done goal kicking, but I've never sort of been first choice for always, apart from when I come back 2019, but Chris Yinney would have kicked that year probably. Um, obviously, unfortunately, with, with administration and whatnot, it turned out being me, but... Um, I get some shockers against Rochdale on the week after Dicko and Gilly done it, and you know Gilly probably one of the best goal kids last year. So um, look, I, I, there was in the back of my mind, you know, I'm, I'm in the top ten for point scoring, but I, I generally don't really care about that this season. You know, I just want to get myself back fit and win some games, and if that means Dicko or Gilly's kicking goals or Joe Edge, um, that, that 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 doesn't bother me. I think you, you've been a bit hard. They were quite wide out there, uh, yeah, Rochdale. <laughs> Uh, going into the season, John's obviously appointed you captain again. How much does that mean to you, obviously, being captain of Witness Vikings? No, it doesn't. Um, obviously, got appointed captain uh, uh, that COVID year, and it was quite nice because the lads voted for me that year as well. It wasn't sort of sheens, they didn't just pick it, the lads voted. And, you know, Simon kept me on uh, at the start of last year as captain, and, and now John has. So, yeah, as a hometown lad, you know, growing up, uh, you know, sitting in that north stand watching Witness, 
my dream was my dream was to play with Witness, um, and, that, and now I'm doing that. But I think again, like you mentioned with the goal kick, and taking some pressure off. There's some players in and around me now who can take some pressure off. You know, Gilly's essentially a coach on the pitch. Jordan Johnston will step up and, and say things when needed. Obviously, Kyle Irmo, um from commentary, you know, he likes the sound of his own voice, so he'll um, he'll step in when needed. But look, we are quite an honest and, and tight group, and. Um, you know, things happen in rugby, things get said, but everyone knows it's to better the team. And then after that, it's done. You know, we'll all have a pint with each other after the game. And uh, yeah, but to answer your question, yeah, I'm obviously buzzing to be captain again. And uh, you know, hopefully, I, I can do it myself and the town proud. You mentioned Gilly there. Obviously, I, you know, obviously usually in the back of the stand, but at Oldham uh, the, other, the other week, it was right at the pitch, and I could hear Gilly barking orders all the time. How good is it to have him back, not as a player, but also as a as a witness lad as well? Well, yeah, like I said. I was saying upstairs, done an interview upstairs, and people have different motivations to play rugby. And you know, myself and Gilly are hometown lads. Jordan Johnson, probably an adopted Whitneysian. Max Roberts, uh, Lewis Satin, you know, they've got a different point to prove. They're coming from Swinton, they'll see when as a step up. They've got a point to prove. Um, so everyone's got different different motivations to play rugby. Um, but yeah, to have Gilly back, he's, it's like a little gem on the pitch, isn't he? Um, and I think that'll help when Danny Craven, um, when he plays and Joe Lyons, that'll free them up a little bit more. Gilly can do all the organisation because Danny and Joe are your best playing on the front foot and playing eyes up rugby. Um, so yeah, get, and again, like I said before, he's, he's been in the in for two years. Danny got nominated for Player of the Year a couple of years ago. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing with Gilly again. The first five games, pretty tough start to the season, York away, and I think there's a there's a run of Keithley, Bradford, Halifax and Sheffield. Is that gonna show where you're at as a squad and, and, and potentially, you know, just about where you sit maybe in the in the league table? Yeah, probably because just after that we've got to lose as well if you look if you look at the first six. Um, so yeah, look I think we can pick off three or four wins from there, we're gonna be in a very good spot, but and you want you wanna win every game and you see what happened last year, we, we went four from four. Now at the start at that time, Halifax was a very good win, but we probably beat teams who you know you'd expect to finish below us. Um, it's consistency is key in this this league, and I think everyone sort of, apart from your Ferrisons and your Leeds last year and Toulouse, so everyone looks at battling and sees what they've done, and they just stayed consistent each week. They wouldn't go on a, a three or four losing streak. You know, they might win, they might lose one, bounce back, and um, I think one thing we've not done over the previous years is beat the teams in and around us. Sheffield away last year, battle, battle at the Bash. Um, you know, so yeah. Consistency is the key, but I think if we can pick three, three or four wins out of that first six, we'll be in a very good spot. And just a final one on, on Mark Purcell, obviously someone you, you, you know well, um, his testimonial uh, this year and obviously the testimonial match against Widnes. Just tell us about him and, and, and how you admire him and what he's done in his career. Yeah, so obviously, you know, me, Gilly, Percy, we've all grown up together uh, playing for Alton Hornets. Obviously, Gilly comes slightly later and we've come through school together. Um, so yeah, look, I hope everyone gets out and supports him. You know what he's done with St Helens is is, uh, is fantastic. He's been there for he's, he's just done his tenth year now. Um, so yeah, everyone hopefully gets behind him, supports him, um, and you know he, he gets the crowd that he deserves because he's probably going to be there for the next few years as well. And um, he's done all right. He's won what? He's at four or five Super League as well. Now hopefully he can get a few more. Um, but no, obviously as a as a friend, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of Percy. You know, you know hopefully um, everyone will get behind support him.